Hey guys, it's me, Toby. Um, this is Ame, my 1998 Furby. Uh, he has the owl skin. He's an owl Furby. And he has a bad speaker. What I mean is it's really quiet and you can barely hear what he's saying. So I have this other speaker from a parts Furby. But this, there's two different versions. This one, which other people call a knockoff, has white plastic. And the official ones have black plastic back there. So I don't know if I could swap speakers because this one has a white front. This one has a black front. But the official speakers sound better than the fake speakers. So I'm going to see if it's possible. I'm going to unscrew his speaker and replace it with this one, which I got from a witch's cat Furby. Um, I still have its skeleton, but it doesn't have a face. As a matter of fact, face is right here. It's kind of scary. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get all these screws out and I'm going to see first if it fits in and second of all if it does fit in I'm going to put batteries in Ame and see if the speaker works and if it doesn't work then I'll just put the old speaker in. Because I really like this fur design, the, the fur is really soft, um, oh I don't need to take that part off. Um, like I was saying, the fur is really soft, it's really beautiful, and it just looks nice, so that's why I really like this Furby, also because it's, um, one out of four Furbies, and it's, uh, the second out of four Furbies in the house that work, because another Furby works, but it only does that weird thing where it just moves over and over again and never talks. So I'm going to unplug the speaker. Um, oh god, don't tell me it's glued. Oh, wait, it's coming out. I might need like a flathead screwdriver or I can just use the edge of this screwdriver. Or the edge of this tool. It has a bunch of different tools mixed in with it. Alright, I'm going to need like a flathead or... Alright, that's pretty good. It's just to get it unplugged. I don't know if the little plug will fit in though, so... Hang on, let me mark which part is the front of it, just in case if it doesn't work. I'm gonna get a little marker. Picked up a pink one, but that doesn't matter. I'm just gonna make a little line right there. Alright, that shows me which part is the front. Alright. This part is the front. Let's see if it goes in. Alright, it goes in. So, hang on, let me get the other speaker completely disconnected from the Furby. Alright, here's the bad speaker. If this speaker works, I'm going to throw this speaker away. Alright, I'm really nervous. Where are the batteries? Oh, here they are. Oh god, I'm super nervous. I usually get nervous around stuff like this. Let's see if, see if she or he works. Okay. Wow, okay. I didn't expect that. Alright, now I'm going to take the batteries out and I'm going to screw the speaker back in. Um, actually, I'll keep this speaker just in case if I get another Furby that doesn't talk at all. It'll just be a placeholder speaker. Um, my brother actually has a Dalmatian Furby that's fried. Like, It's the one that just moves and it never talks. Its speaker works though, because it used to talk. Um, I'm going to ask my brother if I could have that one speaker for spare parts. I'm holding this other one for spare parts. Let me show it to you. This used to be a witch's cat Furby, but then it broke and I just took it apart. <laughs> wow, this guy's speaker quality is actually really good. Um, I don't know how I'm going to attach it, though. Oh, wait, I, I actually can attach it. Okay. Um, all right, let me get the screws. This was unexpected. I actually didn't think it would work. 
As a matter of fact, I was 99% sure that it wouldn't work, but it does, so that's pretty cool. Hang on, let me get my screwdriver. This is a different screwdriver. I, I still am nervous, like something bad could happen. Like, I know that there might be some Furby collectors watching this video, and they might feel really nervous, like, after fixing something, because I'm always nervous. I have, um, oh god, what's that called? I have, like, really bad anxiety, because I'm shaking right now. I just don't want this Furby to break. It's, like, my only working Furby. Oh, uh, where's that other screw? Because, like, before, whenever this Furby had its original speaker, I, I couldn't hear it at all. Because the gears were really loud and I just couldn't hear it at all. I guess this is a microphone. I guess that's what picks up the sound. I'm not sure, though. I'm not a huge expert at Furbies. I know that that's the speaker. Um, and I know what some other switches do and little buttons and stuff. Like, I know that makes it sync, that makes it on sync, that's the motor, right there. I think this screw is too big. It won't go down. Oh wait, never mind, it's gone. Down for real. I hate my life. So now that the speaker's screwed in, I'm going to test him again to make sure like I didn't cut any wires or anything by accident. I actually used to have a racing Furby. I have his skin. I think it's actually... Where did I put it? I had it out a couple minutes ago. Oh well, I used to have a racing Furby, but it fried and I just parted it. Or... Oh, I can't remember. I was like eight whenever I got that Furby. I don't know if it fried or if it just broke and I just didn't know what to do. Alright. Let's see if Furby works. Good sign. Alright, well, he's going to go back to sleep again. Alright, so I'm going to take these batteries out. Whoa, almost dropped the screwdriver and the Furby. I'm actually really excited that I fixed this Furby. Because usually I'm really bad at fixing th things, but since Furbies are really simple, they have a really simple design, I could actually fix them. So, that's pretty cool. Um, I'm going to put his skin on, on, on camera. I believe this is his shell. Yeah, it's his shell. I I call this part either the shell or the skull. Depends on what I'm doing. Um, he actually has a white back lever, which it's actually attached to that. I'm gonna put the little microphone in the hole. Alright, ooh, you're almost back together. Alright. Looking a little bit better now. Um, if I fix a Furby, sometimes, like, if it's gonna have other problems, like this Furby, it might have other problems. If it's gonna have other problems, then I don't screw the little things back on. Um, let me put your skin back on, Emma. Um, the first Furby I ever got was actually that racing Furby, and I got it new in box, but it didn't work, and it was a knockoff. It had the little white plastic behind the beak. Mm 